non-vascular land plants or bryophytes are the simplest plants and they all lack vascular tissue. They use surrounding water to transport fluids and salts. They are small and compact plants. They move materials from cell to cell within a plant through diffusion and osmosis. They are found exclusively in moist habitats. The bryophytes are split into three main divisions, the apatophyta, the anthocerophyta, and the bryophyta. This is the apatophyta or the liverworts. The leaf-like structures are called thallus, and on them are the circular germicops where asexual reproduction happens. In sexual reproduction, the sperm from the antheridial structures swim to the archegonial structures, and the archegonial structure is the palm tree looking thing. The rhizoids are root-like structures underneath the whole thing. Anthocerophyta, or hornworts, are similar to liverworts in the fact that they have a multi-lobed thallus. They are called hornworts because of the tall and skinny sporophytes that are at the top of the plant. During its life, the sporophyte remains attached to its parent, gametophyte. However, unlike other bryophytes, the sporophyte grows throughout its life. When a spore germinates, it makes a flat thalloid that is generally blue-green. Under a microscope, hornworts generally have a single big chloroplast in each cell. The last group is the bryophyta, or the mosses, which also lack true vascular tissue and require water for fertilization. The leaf-like structure you see in this picture is the gametophyte area. From there, a stalk grows, and on top of the stalk is the capsule, which that whole thing is the sporophyte. From the capsule, the spores form, and when it's time, the capsule opens and releases the spores, and the wind carries them to different areas to land and grow new moss. Plants have a life cycle called alteration of generations, where a plant has both a multicellular diploid stage and a multicellular haploid stage. Next, we will show a video of this process in mosses. Spores fall on the ground. Spores grow into a protonema. A protonema sprouts rhizoids and becomes a gametophyte. The male gametophyte has an antheridal head where the sperm is, and the female gametophyte has an archegonia where the egg is. A sperm from the antheridal head swims towards the archegonia to fertilize the egg. The sperm and the egg combine to form the zygote. The zygote develops into a sporophyte. A sporophyte continues to grow until it's mature. A mature sporophyte releases spores from its capsule. The wind disperses the spores into a new area and the cycle repeats again.